Good evening, everybody. We'll be going over the FCS first round first. Um, we'll be talking the rest of college football in just about maybe an hour or so. So, you know, we'll be back in you know just just a few more hours here. We've got to get this out real quick because this won't take very long. Um, FCS first round it has wrapped up. We know what the second round matchups will be. Um. Man, I gotta tell you, the ending to the Sacred Heart Holy Cross game was absolutely unbelievable. Matthew Sluka throws a beautiful touchdown pass. I don't know how he got this touchdown pass off to Jalen Coker. Just a beautiful, beautiful play. Really defensive game for the most part. I was wondering what the world Sacred Heart was thinking because they were at their own. They were at the Holy Cross 34, and they punted. I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know what the problem was there. You kind of need to. This is the type of situation where you actually need to go for it. You know, fourth down and short at the 34. That's you know we can't trust college kickers at the 34 yard line. We know this. But uh, you know they they didn't use Sacred Heart didn't use their running backs for the most part. You know Julius Chestnut really didn't get used at all in the first half. So this was just kind of just baffling. You know, baffling play. I mean, Sacred Heart had the lead for most of that game until that play. Amazing play. Definitely going to be something. And Holy Cross will be taking on Villanova. Number five seeded Villanova. We'll be talking about all those second round games, you know, um, next week. So, you know, stick around for that. Davidson, uh, they, didn't, they didn't do too well against Kennesaw. Xavier Shepard ran for four TDs, passed for another one. Kennesaw easily takes care of business and moves on to the second round. Again, a t another team that's pr that was probably angry that they didn't get seeded, you know. But my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Davidson, y'all got to try a little bit better next time, okay? Um, Stephen F. Austin, UIW, was a thriller. This game went to overtime. Cam Ward got five touchdowns in, four passing, one rushing. And, I mean, you know, there was a huge play that that, San, that Stephen F. Austin was able to get back into the lead with when Rayshawn Nichols, you know, stripped Cam Ward of the football, took it back for a TD, and all hell broke loose after that because UIW came back, stormed right back down, got a touchdown. And we went to overtime, and then you know, once you know, once you know, overtime started. Stephen F. Austin did not make the plays needed. UIW did. And that's how. And that's how Incarnate Word gets to move on to take on Sam Houston in the second round. Huge, huge stuff right there. Huge game. This is gonna it's gonna be crazy next week for UIW and Sam Houston. You know gonna be crazy my goodness South Dakota State oh my goodness they didn't have to do UC Davis like this they beat them in the ground they beat them the dirt 56 24 South Dakota State ran for 400 yards mostly behind the 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 backs of you know Pierre Strong of course and Isaiah Davis who was the leading rusher for the Jacks last year smothered the Aggies we're talking a smothered UC Davis point where it was just it was just not going to be a good day for them and they get to move on South Dakota State does and they will be taking on you know they'll be taking on a good good team in Sacramento State you know next week so that's going to be interesting there Northern Iowa a lot of people said they didn't belong at the FCS playoffs and that kind of proved to be true you know they got a safety in this game but you know that and they got an offensive touchdown that was it. Eastern Washington suffocated Northern Iowa. We're talking Eric Berrier didn't do too much, you know, got two touchdowns, you know, ran for one, threw for another. And, I mean, Eastern Washington just stepped up, three huge turnovers forced, and you and I never got the momentum going to the point where, you know, this team was like, you know, this, this Panthers team couldn't get anything. They couldn't get anything going, and it's unfortunate. Well, now you and I gets to go home, and Eastern Washington gets to move on to take on Montana. So that 
That is going to be crazy. That is going to be a crazy Friday night game. Yet a lot of these games aren't very are, aren't attended very well. That that has been the big thing. You know, a lot of people were noting or crying about that on the interwebs. But it is what it is. You know, FCS football isn't going to you know dwarf FBS overnight. So it is what it is with you know low attendance and stuff like that. Um, UT Martin. My goodness. Y'all for six turnovers? Great, great late TD pass by Dresser Wid too, to just lift the Skyhawks over Missouri State. And UT Martin gets to move on themselves to the next round. They get to move on. Who are they going to take off? They're going to take off Montana State. So that's going to be interesting. You know, for them to go from Missouri all the way up to Montana. That's going to be interesting to see, you know, right there as we get into the second round for them. Um, South Dakota and Southern Illinois, you know, the Salukis controlled the game by running the ball. They had 174 yards and like 48 carries. They controlled the ball for like 30-something minutes, like 35 minutes. Um, and... Four bad Carson Camp turnovers, you know, in this game. It is what it is. South Dakota, you get to go home. Southern Illinois, you get to move on up. You get to move on. Who are you going to take on? Well, how about those Bison? Yeah, those Bison of North Dakota State, they're, they're, they're going to be ready for you. Ready for you in the Fargo Dome. And unfortunately, last but not least, I shouldn't have said this to be a game to watch because I, I should have known. I, I should have known. Oh, jeez. Florida A&M, y'all were crying and whining and bitching and moaning and, and doing all this other stuff. I said y'all were going to show up in the FCS playoffs. Y'all said, you know, y'all said y'all was going to do something. You guys did not prove the, the stereotypes wrong. Slack is what, 0 20 now in the FCS playoffs? You're you're a member of the Slack now. You're you, you get counted as those twenty L's. Like Cole Kelly smoked this effort this FAMU defense. Smoked them. Four TDs. Defense for Sela. Stepped up. Fam, you didn't have any points until the fourth quarter. Anything. You could you could have did something, but you didn't do anything. So now we gotta hear all this nonsense on Twitter and all sorts of forums and stuff like that. You know it is what it is. I mean Fam you just didn't have enough. They didn't have what it takes to go up into Sela, you know, and take this W. That's kind of unfortunate, you know, for the people that that were like, oh, well, you know, maybe the HBCU should have a chance in the FCS playoffs and stuff like that when time and time again, it it just has not worked out well. You know, that, that, should, that should put the cap on that. Um, again, rather unfortunate for FAMU, though. But Southeast Louisiana, they get to move on to face James Madison. That that's going to be huge. Going to be a huge game there, you know. Um, yeah, crazy first round. Crazy first round from the moment it started till it ended. Fortunately, though, I could not find a way to watch any of these games. I thought I was going to watch the FAMU Sela game, but that ended up being a blowout. So. Yeah, kind of disappointed there. I don't think I'll be able to find the way to watch the second round games either. Y'all got y'all streamers. Y'all gotta step this up, man. <laughs> like, y'all gotta step it up so I can find a stream because y'all wanna put y'all wanna put ESPN Plus streams for you know like Mac games, but not for the FCS playoffs. Come on now, that there's 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 something wrong here. There's something beyond wrong here. You know, because I'm not paying for ESPN Plus. I don't care if it's six ninety nine. I don't care if it's a free trial. I'm not wasting seven bucks when I can use that seven bucks to pay a bill or something or get something to eat. You know, but it is what it is. First round is now over. Can't wait for the second round because there's a lot of intriguing matchups in the second round. 
And, you know, what do y'all think? What, do you, what did y'all think of the first round? Again, my goodness, that, that play from Sluka late in the game. Defi program defining play right there. What did y'all think of the first round, though? Did, you know, who was your team? You know, just come on down, comment, and do all that good stuff. You know, like, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. There's a, I think there's a couple new subscribers that came to the channel over the past few days. So that's good stuff. Love that there. Um, and I will see you all in about two hours. About two hours from now, you'll be seeing me again talking about the rest of college football and rivalry week. So take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.